Hello friends, welcome to your own channel on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. In our last video on Apache Airflow, we learned about Python operator and dummy operators. We are learning how to build data pipelines using Apache Airflow. In this video, we will learn how to use XCOMS. XCOMS is used for cross communication between various tasks. Now, before I explain the usage of XCOMS, let's just understand the usage of global variables. So I have written a very short code. Here I'm declaring a global variable and I'm declaring a function. And then I call this function. So here I'm printing inside function. The value of global variable is in this case, it should print K2 analytics. Note I have commented this code and return value. So this piece of code, if I execute, It gives me print inside function. The value of global variable is then outside function. The value of global variable is and the return value. If I uncomment this global variable and I save the code. And once again, let's execute this code. This time we will get an error. It says that the global variable is being referenced before you are making an assignment. So basically we declared the global variable here. However, the moment you declare another variable by same name, it actually is a local variable, not a global variable. In this case, we are trying to refer this variable before it has been assigned a value. So when we use a global variable, we should try to ensure that the same variable name is not used inside the function. I hope this is very clear. Now the second important thing is this function is returning a value which I capture in a variable return value and I am able to use this variable. I can go ahead write another function and pass this variable easily to that second function in a normal Python code. However, the return object of this function if you have to pass from one task to another task in Airflow, you'll not be able to pass it directly. You will have to use XCOM. The reason is, let's now see this XCOM example. Here, I've declared a function. I'm using the same function which we used last time. Only thing is I'm building upon that function. If you recollect, we had a simple function structure where we have start, extract, transform, load, end. In extract step, I am extracting some data and I wish to pass some value from extract function to the transform function. Here is the code. So here there is a return value. The objective is to make use of this return value in the transform function. However, we know the way we call these functions in Airflow in the DAG is using the Python operator. And in Python operator, we use Python callable is equal to extract function. 
which in turn is going to invoke this function and the return value the return object is what I need to then transform then transfer not transform then transfer from the extract step to the transfer callable function we cannot do this easily without the use of XCOMs only with use of XCOM this can be done easily so the way we have to write the code is by default when we call a function and we want to use the return object to be accessible in another task we need to set do xcom push equal to true by default this parameter is set to true so even if i comment it it will work this extract callable will be then be used the return object of the extract python operator is to be used consumed in the transform function here when we write the transform function the transform callable function transform underscore fn I need to use an additional parameter called TI task instance each execution of DAG creates its own task instance and using the task instance XCOM pull function from which function you are trying to get the value you are trying to get the value from task ID extract so you will have to specify the task ID extract let me just scroll up so you can understand the code once these are our standard data imports here we wrote an extract function this extract function we are calling in the DAG in the Python operator e part ETL e part and the task ID name we have given extract then we are writing the transform function in this transform function I want to use the return object of this extract function however this extract function is being called by a task ID named extract as such in the transform function when we have to capture the return object of extract function we have to say task instance dot xcom pull task IDs equal to this is how you will be able to capture the return object of one task into another so ti is a task instance object xcom stands for cross communication using xcom push pull functions we are able to pass return object of one function one task to another task this is my load function sorry this is my transform function in transform function I am capturing the value of extract in the load function also I am capturing the value of extract the parameter a1 p1 p2 are some input parameters which I want to pass to 
uh, the transform and load function which we have already seen how to pass parameters to a function in our previous video so let's go ahead and now run this code i need to save it okay my xflow scheduler is already running my list of DAGs. these are my three active DAGs. let me refresh it xcom push pull the graph let me execute this all the steps have executed successfully here i'll click on extract and see this xcom it shows you the return value analytics training if i go back to the code this was our return value of extract function let's come to transform xcom the return value is 10 let's go back to our code here our return value was 10 so you can see using xcom we can capture the the return value of one function into another this is how we can do cross communication between two tasks the challenge is however these objects are simple data types let me comment these two codes and here i am going to uncomment so you can see i am creating a data frame and let me save this this time my return object is going to be a data frame let's go ahead once again run the code first come to our tag let me refresh it let me press refresh couple of time hopefully the updated code has been picked up and i execute the code you will get an error xcom okay let's go back and click here and let's see the log the object that we are trying to return is a data frame it is not json serializable basically if you have a data frame to be returned back in that case as it is not json serializable you will not be able to return okay it says that could not serialize the XCOM value into JSON. If you are using pickle instead of JSON for XCOM, then you need to enable pickle support for XCOM in your Airflow configuration. So basically, if we want to return an object, which is a data frame, in that case, we cannot convert into a JSON serializable format so probably in that case we'll have to pickle the object into a serializable format so that the next task can deserialize it this is what we learned how to use xcom however the important challenge which is we are going to face in our normal data engineering job because when we write a ETL code, you fetch data from a database 
that data that you're going to fetch is going to be a data frame and XCOM you can see is not helping you easily transfer this data frame object from extract function to transform function point one the second important challenge which I see in this entire code is the entire code has been written in one Python file the code is not modular what do I do to make the code modular such that I can put this business logic and the constants the global variables the constant outside of this code so the code becomes more modular and scalable we will see all of this in our upcoming session till then see you bye bye Take care.